Oh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? It is the 7.30 hour. You're here with us on a Tuesday evening. Welcome to Relentlessly Weebs. Excuse me, Relentless <laughs> Weebs. It doesn't flow tonight. I don't know why. The show <laughs> where we talk nothing about anime and all anime-related terms and all anime-related topics. It's here, ladies and gentlemen, where you learn about the Kawaii philosophy. Your hosts, Shelby McWeeb and Andrew J. Landy. Shelby, how are we this evening? We're dressed in all black today, and there's a special reason for that. Is there? Okay. We have Kiss Pink with us in the studio today. So Kiss Pink. All right, so we have made uh, – go ahead and introduce yourself to uh, uh, everybody. My name a- is Coco. Yeah. Okay, right on, Coco. I'm a new addition to Kiss Pink. Oh, uh, so the very, like, totally new rookie edition. Is that correct? Yes. Right on. So everybody, please welcome Coco from Kiss Pink Made Cafe to the fray at Relentless Weeps. Also, most importantly, folks, you're here with us. Make sure to share out the stream. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, Instagram, doesn't matter where you are, folks, please I'm share out share the stream. Them. Let us know what's going on. Let us know that you're in here as well. And we'll shout you out. And again... Everybody, this is a show about all of us together, not just us talking at you. We want to hear your responses to what's going on. If there's a question, something that piques your interest, let us know, folks, and we'll read your response on stream. And again, let us know that you're in here. We'll give you a shout-out. Like right now, I see Randy Ho is watching. So what's up to Randy Ho? So, All right. Shelby, are we ready for tonight? We're ready. I am still sharing out the stream. You are? Okay, that's, um, that's not a problem. You know, I, all I can say is it was a really warm weekend. It was nice to have, like, warm weather. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, finally. I went to beach, actually. Did you? Yeah, okay. I had a shoot. I had a shoot at uh, Laguna Beach. Okay. Saturday. Was it was it for Kiss Pink or was it just for just you? you just not, No, personal. Oh, a personal shoot? Right on. Okay. I, I remember I was I I was at the Orange County Cherry Blossom Festival this weekend. I was actually the the, uh, the you MC. You were the for MC for that. I was yes, and uh, I can say I'm about seven shades darker right now than I normally <laughs> am. I'm st- I'm pretty sunburned. I'm not gonna lie. So can but, you tell us more about the festival itself? Because it looked really cool. So the festival uh, it had a, a, an eclectic mix of all types of Japanese culture, from the music to dance. Uh, there were actually a lot of cosplayers there, too. I'm not going to lie. So that was really nice. And overall, everybody seemed to enjoy it. Uh, our friends, Okamoto Kitchen, were actually there, too, to give off, you know, sell some great food. And overall, everyone had a good time. Also, one of the great things they had was, believe it or not, an eSports area. So they actually had a Smash tournament. Yeah, they had a, a Smash tournament there. Wow. And how did they set that? How did they set that up? Uh, they contacted, I think it was like Two GG Gaming. Believe it or not, they gave them a tent and they gave them power. So they actually gave them power, and they were actually able to stream to Twitch. They ran a tournament, a cash tournament. the The guy that won actually won like three hundred bucks. I'm not gonna lie. So that was kind of cool. So, all right. Uh, like I said, folks, again, we're here at Relentless Sweeps. I do see D'Angelo Murillo and. Lori Hayashi, a.k.a., you know, I believe she might be important to Kiss Pink. Is that correct? I think so. Might be, might be. Very good. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Shelby, we're ready to get started with tonight? We're ready to get started. Okay, very good, very good. So, uh, I'm, Shelby, I'm going to let you take the lead while I take a quick moment to share the screen because I never get to do this myself, so. Cool. Okay, so what made you want to join Kiss Pink? Um, it's interesting. Okay. I, so I met um, the... Uh, the Antonia, owner, the own, owner. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, like we were just like uh, having hot, hot pot, <laughs> and like I, I, I talked with her. She talked, t- she told me about the the group, and I was like, oh, it's something that I want to try doing. So I just asked her if I could join, and she was like, yeah, of course. So Kiss Pink is one of many um, new things for the cosplay, anime, and convention community where people do really cool adult-themed events. Mm. So um, I know that you've been to a couple. I have been to a couple, yes. Uh, Kiss Pink is also affiliated with like Cloud9, correct? Mm-hmm. If I'm getting everything lined up. And I did the Cloud9 Cute Maid and Butler Cafe uh, last year, and it was a Fate-themed event. So it was kind of interesting uh, for, to see Cloud9, and also kind of made sense that they would – Add on, I wouldn't say transition, but add on uh, the the Kiss Pink style event, which is pretty pretty cool. So, mm-hmm. now I haven't been to one myself. Uh, you have though, is that correct? So Cloud Nine um, is a maid cafe, mm-hmm. and they did a variant cafe called um, Kiss Pink, mm-hmm. which is um, for more um, adult themed things. Like it's a, okay. it's like a nightclub themed event, and right. I think that's really cool because. There's been a lot of um, really cool nightclub themed events, like in San Ame, um, uh-huh. and um, I know that club cosplay was a big thing for a while. Uh-huh. Um, and um, the uh, what you do at this Kiss Pink Made Cafe, Kiss Pink, sorry, 
Kiss Pink, right? It's Kiss Pink Made Cafes. There you go. Um, is there's um, a talent portion, and then um, there's a, a cool environment to just socialize and meet new people. Uh-huh. While um, girls who love to perform and different talents, dancing, singing, telling jokes, get to go on stage and put on a show. So it's really cool that you actually get to like. There's people with really cool hobbies that they want to okay. bring and perform in front of people. Okay. Now. Um, Coco, I gotta ask. Mm-hmm. So you're you're now the, the new part of Kiss Pink Made Cafe. Have you ever done anything like this before in your convention experience? Before any, have you ever experienced anything like this? Well, I've done cosplaying. You have done cosplay, but like not not a made costume. Never a made, never a made outfit. Mm-hmm. Just out of curiosity, uh, you said you've done cosplay. Can you tell us a little bit about the the characters that you've portrayed as a cosplayer? What you what you've done so far? Yeah, I I started cosplaying not too long ago so last okay. year okay um fanime Fan like i've done like halloween like dress up uh, like, okay i wouldn't say like it's like like full out like cosplay okay but like um yeah the first con i went to cosplaying was like fanime last year fanime last year okay so i just i cosplay as a uh, sailor neptune sailor neptune okay so yeah. and i like there was like three days right but i i, I wore the same costume to all three. Oh no that because i didn't f- prepare for like other costumes oh that's totally fine and i like yeah uh anime expo mm-hmm. last year okay. i went as diva but with like like all diva but like different uh skin last year was a year de- was the year of the diva it so was I can the diva year that. i'm not gonna yeah. lie yeah so you did three like multiple divas throughout the course of anime yeah, Expo. I did right? black cat and then a magical girl diva and there was like a swimsuit diva. Okay, right on. So like a lot of variation. Uh huh. Okay. Um, giving yeah. a quick shout out to Jonathan Alexander Guerra who says, "Yo, Kurt Bros is giving a thumbs, thumbs up." up. Greg, Greg Hammer says, "Hello, everybody." everybody. And, and of course, course I, I see Brianna, Brianna DeCoster in the chat. chat. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Danny Leong says, "Hi, cousin." Oh God. Oh hi. Are you Danny's, Danny's cousin? cousin? Oh. I have Danny
make sure. I'm going to check a couple things here really quick just to make sure that things are working properly. Okay, so I understand. Yeah. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm just going to keep jabbing and keep jabbing and keep jabbing. We're good. Yeah. All right. So. By the way, let us know, folks. Uh, I do understand there are a couple technical issues. That's okay. We're good. Are we good? You're good. We're good now? Um, oh, proper. Okay. Just making sure. So, again, folks, so. if you have. Okay. Yes. I see. I see sound. That's good. That's good. Again, folks, what we said before, if you didn't hear it earlier, again, first of all, welcome back to Relentless Sweeps. We do apologize for the uh, weird, weird error with sound. It's okay. We're back now. Again, your host, Shelby, Shelby McWeeb, Andrew J. Landy, made Coco from Kiss Pink joining us in. What's going on, Coco? How are we doing today? Really good. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. All right. So the game tonight, as told by Shelby McWeeb, it's a PG version of Never Have I Ever. Is that correct? Never Have I Ever, yes. So, folks, we'll be playing this in a little bit. If you have suggestions for Never Have I Ever, put them in the chat along with any questions you might have for us, the hosts, or Coco as well, and we'll get to those. We'll make notes of them. Because at every yeah. convention, there's like very specific things that happen to you uh -huh. the more convention you go to. Yeah. So just pick something that has happened to you that we can play to see if it's happened to us too. Uh -huh. the, the, how you play Never Have I Ever is you people have five or ten fingers. We're going to do five. Five, yeah. And you put them down if you've never done something or if you have done something. Right. So, like, it's never have I ever been to... Never have I ever been to Mexico. And So you'd put one down. Since I'd put one down since I've been to Mexico. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's a, the general way, way it works. Loser, there's usually a punishment at the end of some sort. Or, you know, if you play the more adult version, then... You drink. You drink. In this case, though, we're keeping it really clean tonight. But it's a little chance to get to know Coco a little bit better. And, of course, get to know your hosts better. Never have I ever. So, again, folks... Put your answers in the chat. And, of course, if you have other questions for Coco or Shelby or myself, this is where to put them, in the chat. So, are we, is this like an on, Shelby, I got this. Is this an ongoing thing right now? Are we playing it all throughout the show? I think once people part, at once start putting in answers, we should start playing. Well, the first one, uh, I guess we should start playing then. Okay. Because du just, Dustin Joseph Azure, and we're playing 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah. So I'm just like really excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's so, I, I love it. The energy's there. Coco, so, uh, Coco, are you ready to play? So, first one is, never have I ever made an AMV. Oh, uh, okay, so. I actually went to college because I wanted, I really liked AMVs. Okay. Um, when I was in high school, um, I, figured, I figured out how to use Windows Movie Maker, uh -huh. and I really liked Sailor Uranus, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Okay. To the extent I had to immortalize that in an AMV. Oh, no. So, I made my first AMV with Sailor, uh, it was a shipping AMV about Uranus and Neptune. Okay. Um, and then I was like, this is the only thing I, I, I enjoy to such an extent. So I'm <laughs> going to enroll in a four-year university based on this one interest. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm looking over. Coco still has five. Did you I never have made an AMV? What's an AMV? Oh, an anime, mu anime music video. No. So it's one of those where like uh, artists will supercut parts of... <laughs> Their, their anime set them to different music like in the mid like early to mid 2000s everybody mm -hmm. seemed to do one the Linkin Park so yeah so that was that's so that's the first one okay do you guys have a favorite AMV oh gosh it, okay if there's any AMV I'm gonna think on that one real quick actually no I'm gonna I, I know which one I'm thinking about favorite AMV was actually shown I believe at ALA this year uh, I think it won best in show it was somebody who set a scene from My Hero Academia and they said it to the commercial of Terry Crews doing Power. It was, I, I was, we were watching it right before the masquerade and I could not stop laughing. It took me a couple minutes just to get myself settled. So, uh, Coco, so you, have you seen, you've never seen an AMV I take it or? No, I've seen it at, uh, okay. Anime Expo. Like they were like oh. showing all the. They used to be such a big part of conventions. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they still are. They still are. Yeah. So. But um, All right, so. I think my favorite it's a it's a toss between the Asamanga Dayo one to 1985 by Bowling for Soup. Okay. And uh, the Halloween Mig one by uh, for Princess, Princess Tutu. And those are my favorites. I just remember like watching those. I I would watch those more than I would listen to the actual music it was set to. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's uh the next one here. I'm pretty sure all of us are putting a finger down here. Never have I ever been to a con dance. 
Okay, that who said that? That is Norman Locke. That's a cheap Norman. shot. Norman. Norman went. Norman went straight for the jugular. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's. <laughs> okay. He just wanted to. St- <laughs> Brianna the Coster says, "Never have I ever danced in my house to an anime intro." I don't know why everyone's targeting me today. I don't think this is fair. <laughs> you brought this on yourself. Okay. Did you do it too? Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. We're both. We're all at three, and you're at two. You've got the finger gun going. That's amazing. <laughs> all right. So before I continue on, I have to ask, what anime intro was it? You guys remember your favorite because I'm sure it's more than one. Yeah. What's your favorite anime intro to dance around to? Naruto. 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 Okay. Do you have a favorite season? <laughs> season. I mean, <laughs> I, I stopped at uh, Shippuden, like middle Shippuden. Okay. So. Do you have a favorite opening to the season of Naruto? I mean, the first one. I guess no, no. I, I don't remember. Like, I mean, it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, Shelby. <laughs> Hard question. Yeah. The Tenjin Topic Garden Logan one is definitely like a favorite because before high school, right. every morning getting ready, I would play that because it was so like, like it was it was inspiring. I just thought about like yeah. becoming the best robot fighter of all time I in think... a small town in Maine. Okay, that works. Uh, if I'm, I'm going with anything, it'd probably be the OG Dragon Ball Z theme. You know, Ooh. dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. Yeah, dragon, dragon. I'm going to stop now. Okay. Yeah, we're not clipping that. Okay, next question. Let's see. Dustin jo- Dustin Joseph Azure says, never have I ever spent $100 plus on a single figure. You were getting targeted so hard today. This is at me. We're going to give oh. you like a second live at this point. Okay. Um, Do I have to say what it was? Quickly, what figure was it? I can't be quick about this because I'm really I'm not ashamed because like I'm not ashamed. I don't, other people do it, but uh-huh. it's actually a, it's actually a couple. Okay. Um, one was given to me by my friend Jonathan, and that uh-huh. was Sakura Saber. Okay. And I was with, with my friend Mandy at Hentai Con, and this is actually a really good story. It's a really funny story about um, mm. it's a very Kiss Pink story. Yeah. Um, but at Hentai Con, um, I was uh, looking at the figures on um, day three with my friend, mm. and one of the sellers was like. Oh, you guys are cute. Like, and she, he pointed to my friend especially. He's like, "Hey, like, you know, if you'll talk to me, I'll give you a discount on these figures." Wow. So, yeah. what? <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. But so I um, ended up buying three figures: um, panty and stocking, but the stripper pole versions. Uh huh. <laughs> because the, that was like the the best, if that makes sense. Like that that was, that, that that was, was the, the top, yeah. the highest. Top of the line panty and stocking figures mm. is the two um, matching panty and stocking conjoinable uh, stripper pole ones. And I also bought Yukiko from Persona 5. Okay, right on. Uh, just before we continue on, I'm going to give quick shout outs. Um, the next person uh, is new here. I'll, I'll announce their question in a, in a second. Uh, Coco, I am going to ask. Mm-hmm. Uh, this does not count towards Never Have I Ever. Okay. Do, you, do, you have you, do you have any anime figures? It's totally okay if you do or don't. Do you have anime any? Figures. Uh, Doesn't matter if they're a hundred bucks or not. I I I, I don't personally. <laughs> I had a diva one. Diva, okay, close enough. That that works actually. Was a robot. Yeah. Uh, pop. What's it called? Uh, Funko Pop. Funko Pops. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Okay, Simon de los Santos. By the way, welcome to Simon de los Santos. Says never have I ever gotten an anime character tattoo. Did you? I, I have. You have one. You have one. Okay. What is it? <gasps> Oh, that's so pretty! Oh is uh, that? Too, oh wow, that's and is that you with your dog as is a sailor? Yeah, wow, yeah. we should open with it. Wait, can you can you turn towards the camera? Yeah, we're gonna try and get a view of this really quickly. It's so you have a tattoo of sailor. Oh, that's really cool. You have a tattoo of Sailor Neptune. Mm-hmm. Is that your dog? Yes. Your dog, and then you dress up like a sailor soldier. Yes. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. You made your OC like that's your OC. I've never seen that level of commitment. Good job. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Okay. I so right now I'm in the lead because I I'm apparently boring. Okay. <laughs> you don't have yourself tattooed on yourself. Yeah, you're boring. I know, right? One of my Stebo. <laughs> okay. Greg Hammer says, Never have I ever gone to a Misfits concert. Okay. Dustin Joseph cool flex. <laughs> Dustin Joseph Azure says, Never have I ever auditioned for voice acting. Okay, yes. That's You're fair. catching up. I yeah, so <laughs> believe it or not, um, Anime Expo, a couple years back, they actually started doing this whole uh tryout to be a voice actor thing. And uh actually a couple of my friends got through to the end. They actually got the jobs for it. I didn't, of course, my voice was shot, but uh, yeah, that counts actually. So that's fine. 
So the next one, never have I ever written fan fiction. That's not fair. <laughs> That's absolutely and not fair. down goes Shelby. Did okay. you? No, it's just me. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I'm, a, I'm not at liberty to say what I wrote. Fair enough. We're, we we will leave it to the viewers. It was also Sailor Moon. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Okay, so uh, just a quick note, giving a huge shout out to Winston Hom- Homesapa. Winston, I'm so sorry because I always butcher your name. Homesapaya. Homesapaya. We're gonna go with that. Thank you. I also see Ken Tat says crawling in my skin in reference to Lincoln Park and all the AMVs everybody used for all the AMVs. I'm in solidarity. I don't have any fingers left, so I'm just like in right. solidarity. Brianna DeCoster also chiming in about the AMVs, the Snoop Dogg one, which is fine. Camille Falciola is in the chat. What's going on, Camille? Let's see. Adam Fisher says, never have I ever been to a hentai dubbing panel. Yeah. Hey, obviously, I went. Okay, hands I'm putting had a, a bunch. finger back up because I've I've been to a bunch. Those are a huge deal in the East Coast. Okay, did not know that. Yeah, um, that's like a rite of passage. Is like on the East Coast at conventions is uh-huh. like once you like reach 18, that's the first thing you do with your friends. Like that's your cel- That's your 18th birthday. Okay. Is you go to the hentai dubbing? You go to the hentai dub- dubbing panel. Okay. Let's see. Win- by the way, Winston says his favorite AMV-, AMV was Yuri on Ice. It was probably probably from last year. Dustin saying, talking about Haruhi, never have I ever danced the Hara Hara Yuka. That's not fair. I just posted a video of me doing that in 2009. You're body. Halfway through the video, I asked um, uh, my one of my family members walks through the room and I say, can you please go away? And then <laughs> I keep finishing the dance. And that's the most 2009 thing I've ever done in my entire life. Okay. Aldo with the cheap shot. Never have I ever been to San Diego Comic Con. I'm out. Oh, that's not me. So did you win? I guess our guest Coco has defeated uh, defeated our hosts, which I don't know if that's you know necessarily the 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 best thing to do, but that's okay. So got to do a little bit. We got to learn a little bit about us. We got to. I'm gonna ask a couple more of these just out of curiosity. So we can put five fingers up again. We're gonna. Are we gonna restart now? Because we know Coco's got one on us. Yeah, Coco, Coco, you've already won. So we're going to level the playing field. We'll do five again. Okay. Uh, before we do that, though, again, just want to give everybody a quick note one more time. Again, you're watching Relentless Weeps. This is the show all about anime, the anime community. It's here where you get to learn about the Kawhi philosophy and learn a little bit more about what makes this community really tick and all the facets and all the things about it. Your hosts, Shelby McWeeb, Andrew J. Landy, we're joined tonight again by the newest member of the Kiss Pink Maid Cafe. Give it up, everyone, for Maid Coco. Coco, how are we doing so far? Are we doing Hi, good? Really good. Awesome. Chilling, chilling. So, and also, if you're tuning in, we're both cosplaying as a Kiss Pink Maid Cafe person. I I, am, I'm, I host, actually, I've been the host of a couple of their previous events, mm-hmm. um, and I it's a really fun time. Um, I really enjoy watching the talent portion because it's really cool seeing how many talented cosplayers there are who right. have or like multifaceted if that makes sense because they're not going to stand up and like sew a dress or like like style a wig but they're going to stand up and sing and dance and tell jokes and just mm. be really charming so it's really fun to see and I had a lot of fun hosting it mm. also uh, one more one more plug before I forget and uh, folks again this is one of the big ones too if you're looking for something to do on July 4th this year, I know it's a little bit away. I know we're only just now getting into spring. Again, spring starts tomorrow, but it's never too early to start looking at your plans for the summer, especially July 4th. I know it's Anime Expo time, but hey, if you guys are looking for something awesome to do on July 4th, go to Kickstarter and look up Insanimate. Insanimate is this awesome event. They had one last year during October, and by they, I mean Anime Impulse. By the way, shout-outs to Anime Impulse. Thank you guys so much for everything you do for this community and for us here at Relentless Weaves. You guys are amazing. Anime Impulse put on an event called Insanime. Insanime was a great club event. There was dancing. There were adult drinks if you were of age, of course. I I believe it was an 18 and up event. Uh, And again, you did have to be 21 and up to purchase alcohol. They did also have great lounging areas and one of the cool things was they had a great gaming area too so try to get things funded for insanime to happen thursday july 4th folks if you go to kickstarter look up the insanime project basically go to kickstarter.com and search insanime that's where you want to go if you can support this project it's awesome it's going to be a great time what a great way to celebrate your july 4th 
watch some fireworks and then party the night away with your friends. You cannot go wrong with that. I think the concept of, of Insanime is so much fun because around Halloween time, you already have your costume picked out, but mm. cosplayers have their costumes picked out anyway. Right. They need enough time to fill in as many times to wear that costume as possible and as many costumes as possible. Yeah. So that was fun just to begin with. But having so many cool like people who enjoy anime, enjoy cosplay in one spot mm. just to party and like have an adult, like a really cool old, like adult nightclub was really fun. All my friends went and I got to hang out with them in a different way that I don't get to usually because we can't just all show up in cosplay to the like the local bar because we've tried and it's just not as fun. So I really liked Insanime. So I'm really excited because all my friends are going to be in Los Angeles uh-huh. in July from all over the country. All my East Coast friends, my Southern uh, co- convention friends, we they all come up, all mm. come up for Ju- for in July. So being able to enjoy Insanime with all of them, all my friends nationwide, is going to be so much fun. So I'm really excited, and yeah. I love the idea of like, because you know when you're over 21, conventions are always fun, but then they're a different kind of fun when you turn when you know when you get older. Right. And just having that adult space yep. to hang out with and have fun is really cool, and I never thought I'd be able to do that. Like, okay. 12 year old me would be flipping out while she's doing the Har Har UK and making an AMV <laughs> and writing fan fiction. Right, right. Just knowing there was like an adult version of this behavior. Okay. <laughs> so I'm excited. All right. So, folks, I believe it's at it's going to happen at the Belasco Theater in Los Angeles. That's so, really cool. Yeah, not too far from where Anime Expo is happening. So, again, folks, it's a great way to kick off the weekend, start off your July 4th, well, end your July 4th, and then, of course, going into Anime Expo strong with our whole anime community. So all right, I think everybody's ready for another round of Never Have I Ever. Coco. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. Are you sure you're ready? I am. Because I'm pretty sure everybody's targeting Shelby or I because I've looked at some of the questions and I'm like, God, you guys are jerks. It's my mom being like, never have ever, never have ever not worn a sweater right. when I was yeah, like, <laughs> right. Cause she, she, my mom's cool, but she, hmm. she doesn't like, she, she, she's a little bit wary of the kiss pink made uniform. Oh, okay. But okay. I love it. It's a, it's a unifier. All these, I love every girl in kiss pink. They're all so much fun. They're mm. all super talented and they're all just here to have a good time. And all the money that they make through kiss pink is, um, they do things to raise money to have bigger and better events every time. So it's really cool that there's like a camaraderie of these girls working together to make the best like shiny made outfit team they can. <laughs> so Coco, it sounds like you joined like a really good team. How do you, how do you feel so far? P- pretty excited? Mm-hmm. Good, yeah, good, good. I haven't seen all of them yet, but like, I'm excited too. Okay, yeah, that's good. Together. <laughs> all right, let's see. Where did we leave off? We're going to start with, first of all, I got to give a shout out to Simon Yu, one of my buddies. Thanks for watching, Simon. Norman Locke, this is like an everybody got hit one, so I'm not even going to count it. Never have I ever been to a NorCal convention. That's... No, 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 no. You know what? I can't count it. We all, all right, got we're hit. not counting. We all got hit, so... I respect I respect that, but yeah. we're not going to put that one. I mean, we heard that Nate Coco had been to Fanime again. Of course, you've been to plenty of NorCal. I have been to... I'm going to throw out Crunchyroll Expo, because Crunchyroll Expo is a fun time to have. I love expos. I love, mm. like, um, I love when industry guests go to conventions. Like, mm. at Anime Impulse this year, um, Robbie Damon does uh-huh. really, really cool... Okay, so Robbie Damon travels the country doing really, really cool um, panels and, like, shows. Uh-huh. Um, and he does, like, he plays games and everything with other voice actors. And I actually get to see him do it at Anime Impulse, but it was so much it was really cool because he was on a really big stage Mm -hmm. and like there was a huge crowd um around him it was much it was a cooler and not like i don't mean to say this but like an environment that was the environment that it was the most fun watching him on if that makes sense gotcha okay so i'm throwing that out there i love stuff like that right on oh okay i see weston diaz is in the chat too marina myers is also in here gotta give a quick shout out she's a kiss pink she is yeah yes Okay, Daryl Soriano, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, Daryl, ask me never have I ever. You'll be good at this. Never have I ever embarrassed myself in front of a guest of honor. Uh oh. Who said that? That was Daryl. Daryl said that. All right. We're not gonna go into the nitty nitty, right. nitty gritties. <laughs> out of, uh, I'm gonna protect you, Shelby. I'm really clumsy. <laughs> I'm going to protect you, Shelby. Really clumsy. I'm. Uh, I am gonna ask. <laughs> Uh, Coco, you've you've been to a you've been to a, a few conventions. Have mm-hmm. you had a chance to meet any of the guests of honor and any of the conventions you've gone to? No, never. <laughs> if there is one guest though that you could meet, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter what type. If it's anime, if it's gaming, if you could go to a convention and meet any guest, who would it be? Like, who would you love to meet? Just out of, like off the top of your head. No one. Myself. Yourself. <laughs> wow. Do you see? 
like I think the fame is already getting there. Already the rookie member of Kiss Pink, and she's already like I'm that important. You know, all right. If we're talking about guests, the voice actor for Diva, mm. you have a Diva Funko Pop, right? Those are actually oh, you, you, you do. Sorry, I don't mean to like make you <laughs> tell me again. Right. Um, she actually um, calls out people who fake her signature on Diva Funko Pops and Ooh. put them on eBay, and she calls them out. Like she's not afraid to. I've actually interviewed her about this, interviewed her about this before because she was a guest of honor at Granite State Comic Con in New Hampshire. Oh wow. Um, she's been on. She's been to a ton of East Coast cons, but she's a really cool person. She's really nice, and mm. she's not afraid to go there. So I love when she's a guest of honor at cons. Okay. So she's she's a great voice actor too. She runs really fun things. Okay. So that's yep. something to think of when you think of Guest of Honor. Okay. Right on. Let's see I here. did embarrass myself in front of her, too, because I <laughs> interviewed her. <laughs> so, like, it's it's a, it's a couple. All right. Hands up. All right. So it's current count. Coco, you're still, you're still clean with five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shelby got hit with one. You're at four, and I'm at five mm -hmm. right now. Let's see here. Never have I ever gotten spanked by a yaoi paddle. None. No. I, 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 what is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. We're going to history lesson so, today. Yes. Uh, Shelby, um, would you like to take I know what yaoi is, but. So we know what yaoi is, so that's going to save us some time. Mm. Yes. Um, a yaoi paddle. <laughs> I never, I have actually never really seen one before because I didn't go, I did not go to conventions until like 2010. Um, I missed out on that whole thing, but I knew they existed like, like, like in a storybook, like a, like, you know, like in Game of Thrones, like, uh, they're night walkers, right? White Walkers? White, White Walkers. walkers yes. Yeah, you know how White Walkers exist in Game of Thrones? That's what a Yaoi paddle was to me for the longest time. But I'll tell you what it is. A Yaoi paddle is a paddle that... I guess it's in the description. Um, people about, people yeah. used to bring them to conventions. Yes. And just, like, would should, paddle people with per, them. Perhaps I should speak on this because I've witnessed this before. Oh. Uh, okay, so yes. <laughs> like Shelby stated, mm -hmm. uh, there's literally a paddle that literally had just the word Yaoi, like, emblazoned across it. And there used to be paddlings of people, like before they banned them at like Anime Expo and every other convention, you know, all around. Yeah. Just because, you know, people didn't <laughs> want to deal with yes. injury lawsuits or so they don't really sell them around anymore. I mean, they're probably still floating around somewhere. If anyone can like check on eBay for like Yaoi Paddle circa 2006, that would help me out what? a lot. <laughs> I want to see like what the resale value on Yaoi. Those are a oh part my. of history. No, we, it was a dark time in history. Bring back Yaoi Paddles 2019. You two didn't have to live through it, okay? God. Ugh. All right, Ugh. I never owned a Yaoi Paddle. I wouldn't own one now. You would. Um, no. You would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna DeCoster says, never have I ever hosted a masquerade at a con. Well, oh, that's... Oh, sh damn yeah, it! Yeah, that's you too. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to cuss. Did you? No. Oh, you're just still playing. <laughs> no, Co no, Coco. Co oh. For all intents and purposes, Coco, it seems that your your con experience seems very relegated to like very recent times. Is that correct? Yeah. So, correct. well, uh, you said your first con was like an it was Anime North in Toronto, or was that was there, was there one before that? No. Oh, was it? Oh, so what was what was before that? If you don't mind me asking. Nothing. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing beyond. Okay, right on. So again, very recent. So this makes. If me... If you want to throw some video game video game theme, never have it for her. Yeah. That would definitely help us out. True. Yeah, help us out. Yeah, yeah more much more gamer than like a weeb. What <laughs> What's the latest thing you've been playing? Yeah. Apex Legends. Apex. Apex. Oh, geez, I've been trying to get into that, except my uh, computer can't handle that. So, that's fine. Okay, let's see. West so she's been playing Apex. Apex Legend. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I haven't gotten into that yet. I've seen it. It looks cool. It's like it's kind of like your, you know, like battle royales, but instead of FPS, right? It's like first person shooter. Battle royale, but it's like it's kind of like mixed with um, Overwatch mm -hmm. elements. Okay, like you have like different heroes with different abilities. Cool, okay. but like in a battle royale type of right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, I got you on playing there. field. Okay, so right now I'm looking through the chat just to make sure we've got a couple other people that have joined in. I see Ashley Colette Pope and Ivory Ice Han are joining in. <laughs> I do see Eric Samuel Gordon Kushninsky. I, again, I'm so sorry <laughs> if I butcher your name. I'm terrible at this. Fine. That's fine. Um, just looking through the chat, Daryl Soliano does say... Daryl, uh, I thought I told you to leave. <laughs> no, he's just chiming in saying Yaoi Paddles and Glomps. If you remember Glomping, it was good old 2006. Yes. I Colon remember three. They banned Glomping, actually, at most conventions because, again, it's a giant. How do you ban Glomping? Simply, you tell people not to run. Oh. Yeah, that's literally, glomping. that's literally it. So. Oh, we're going to go back. Glomping is when you run up to someone and hug them, but, mm -hmm. like, like, Okay. Yeah, it, it's a, like a, they, they, they jump at you, right? basically. Yeah. So there's that. 
Okay, let's see here. <laughs> I think what I think this Weston's is trying a to history lesson today. We, Weston's trying to whammy everybody here. Never Weston. have I ever played Dance Dance Revolution. Nice. Okay, so we all, we all got hit. I think if we all got hit, that means none yeah, of us no, take, none of us get none hit. of us take a hit. Put it back up. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Never have I ever played games for 24 hours. Oh, nice. okay. What, what game was well, it? I don't know. Like back down, I'm tw- like straight or what? Twenty four hours straight. Let's see. Well, I think that the I think that the definition is up for interpretation. Because yeah. like, did you play did for you, a whole we, day? Like for you, just you a whole day. Yeah. Die. Yeah, you, you, like, that, that would that would physically hurt. I mean, yeah. like I've done it where like I I I kept playing and I I fell asleep on a chair. We I woke up and I started playing again. So you played. Upon waking up, you like use the bathroom. Obviously, I don't know like, if it's like twenty four hours, but like long time, like a full day. You yeah. had a basically a marathon session. Let's marathon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Marathon. D- does that count? That Close counts. enough. Yeah, I'm counting yeah. it just because it makes you have one mark. I think you have a speed. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. No, to be fair, I have pulled like I've pulled like a twenty four hour like gaming session before. It was fun though. We did take like stand breaks, you know, and breaks to get food, and then we didn't went back to the gaming. So that's fine. I played Persona. Um, so I actually had to move back home from. I had to move back to Maine for like three months, and um, the f- I played started playing Persona Four. Mm-hmm. And a huge element of Persona Four is that it gets really foggy and, and like bad things happen because of it. Mm-hmm. And growing up in Maine, the weather is really weird. So as soon as I started playing and it got to like the weird part it started being foggy every single day. Mm. So I had to play through it to kind of like ease myself, if that makes sense, Mm -hmm. like to play through to the happy ending so that I could feel better about the fact that I moved to this foggy wasteland, (laughs) AKA Maine. (laughs) Okay. All right. Kyle Kennedy gives us one here. This, this one could be an all whammy. And you know what? If, if everybody gets whammy on this, you're, we're all taking a hit. Never have I ever had to take off contacts while drunk. I took someone else's contacts off while they were drunk. Yours. It has to be yours. All right. So I've been hit. We, I, were we all hit? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> My guess. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm not even going to dive into what potentially could have happened there. So uh, Eric is asking me about OBJ. I'm sad about it, and I'm not going to go into it. What's Does, OBJ? OBJ is a, a football player, a.k.a. Aww. I'm sad. He's my my fit one of my favorites got traded doesn't matter neither here nor there dustin azure gives us never have i ever accidentally broke someone's cosplay prop slash armor what did you what did you, okay what did so, you do okay it was an accident of course what had happened was my friend this is like the era of miku because like me like you know hatsune miku was like huge right i had a friend who had some really good like wiring done with her miku outfit <laughs> and the like lights all around Obviously, we were drunk, and she stole my she stole my eyeglasses. Like I don't know if people know this. I actually, I wear contact lenses now, but like back, back 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 then I wore glasses. She stole them, and I tried to like rush after her to, to get it's like to to catch her, but inadvertently I grabbed her arm, and that's where some of the wiring was, and I guess it, like it damaged some of the wiring, and you know we we it sucked. I did you know it, it was a terrible moment, but you know we've since patched things up and you know moved on from it. So. Is it is what it is. So that that's neither here nor there. So neither of you have broken up a, a cosplay prop ever before? From someone else. No. Okay. Someone else is broke. And Coco, never happened. Nope. You two are so lucky. <laughs> so, like the grief the grief that comes from it, like really, really sucks. Like I'm looking at your reaction. No, I believe right. that. I believe that. Yeah, I'm looking at your reaction and it's just like, yeah, you're mortified. I completely believe that. Okay. Especially if you didn't mean it. Okay. Dush then while firing these away never have i ever cried over an anime slash game character Yo, that's a lie we don't like liars in this chat (laughs) anybody you've never cried over an anime never cried over an anime or a game where's your soul over over a death yeah we're friends over a death so a character died let's see so um maybe i don't know i don't remember okay I, i would say yes but okay we're going with yes then i i don't remember what you don't know which one okay i cried the hardest over air air tv it's from the same people who made kenan and um stuff like that um air was the saddest because i was like 16 and at the ending because it was just like they they would would go through the arcs of the different girls who each had very very sad problems Mm -hmm. and then at the very end i cried the hardest over air tv okay um and i think i did cry over ray zero i think this most recent one i cried over 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, like... No, no, a silent voice. I'm so sorry. It was a silent voice that made me cry. Oh, my God. Because I didn't cry at your name. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I cried during ReZero. I'm not gonna lie. I cried big manly tears. They were amazing. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Kai Barzak. By the way, welcome, Kai. Says, never have I ever had a hard time choosing between two class types in a game. Fruit. Interesting. Oh, I, I saw that, Coco. I saw that. <laughs> that was good. Okay. So Can you first, tell us what it was? Yeah, what game was it and what classes did you have trouble with? Like choosing from? Like picking? Yeah. Well, okay. So, like, what game was it? And then... I mean, like, in general, like, I mean, when I play... I don't know, like Overwatch shooters like that. Mm. Uh, you can like choose different heroes. Like I yeah, just yeah. get caught up. Of, like I don't know. I mean, are you talking about like RPG or like Anything. you choose? You pick something. You can't like go back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, either way, like some because I understand like with Overwatch, obviously there's different roles. Cause, like like I play Overwatch too, and I usually play like off tank myself, or I, like if I can, I'll play like I'll play a Reaver type, but I usually like to play off tank because bridge bridge uh... day is fun. But like, yeah. What game did you ever have like issues like selecting a class? class. By the way, that was his uh, attempt at targeting Coco. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty Appreciate good. It. Pretty good. I. <laughs> All games. It's every game. Yeah. You tend to favor like out of, out of curiosity when you play. Do you tend to favor more DPS types like more... DPS? Definitely. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Okay. By the way, Dustin says, no, no, do not remind me of air. That OST still makes me cry. I have to skip those on my weeb playlist. Yeah. Uh, same thing. I have Clan Ad on there. I have the soundtrack for the Clan Ad. And okay. I can't listen to it because it makes me sad. I don't know why I keep it on my playlist. Okay. Thanks, Spotify. Anyway, yeah, I can't listen to the opening at all. Okay. Never have I ever been in a convention hotel room with more than six people. I'm assuming that's staying in the room. And I'm at one. More than six people. No. More than six people in the room. Wait, uh, does it have to be? Ho- does it have to be a hotel? Or can it be an Airbnb? Airbnb. So Airbnb counts too. Counts too. Ooh, Andy won. I've, I win. Yeah, how round. did you win? Because people started targeting Coco. You guys are my heroes. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was at two, and I still had one left. So, uh, but yeah, the most I've ever been in was eight. Um, we're not gonna go into that. <laughs> Because we never should have to do that because it's also a fire hazard. Anyway, all right, folks. Again, folks, if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining us here at Relentless Weaves. Again, your show where we talk nothing but anime in the anime community and things that are related to anime, sometimes games as well. It's here where you learn about the kawaii philosophy. Your host, Shelby McWeeb, Andrew J. Landy, and our guest host for the evening. Again, give it up for Maid Coco from the Kiss Pink Maid Cafe. Again, folks, if you have not done so already... Make sure you've liked Bombshell Media. That's where we're streaming from right now. And also, look for the Relentless Weebs group. That's where the Har whole community is. That's where you get to, a chance to talk with other weebs, bring up topics, and above all, just have a good time. So, And most importantly, make sure you are sharing out that stream. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you can. And help us spread the word about the Kawaii philosophy here. <laughs> so that's the way to be. All right. Terrence Pryor does say hello, amazing human beings. Hello, Terrence. Um, we're seeing people chiming, by the way, in the chat. Staying in the room, their records, let's see. We've got some, Eric uh, is saying 8 to 10 people. Dustin Joseph Asher says the record for him is 12. Wow. Um, that's some major Tetris there, I'm not going to lie. Um, out of curiosity, Coco, have you ever had to stuff a hotel room for a convention? Please say no, please say no. What hotel room? Uh, Airbnb or hotel room Or yeah, like any, anything. Yeah, Stuff. Yeah, so basically like for most hotel rooms, uh-huh. most hotel, like a standard hotel room, you're technically only supposed to have four, at most five people in there. Otherwise, you're oh. yeah, you're actually otherwise you're breaking fire code. So it's a fire hazard, and they have a right to like basically evict you from your hotel room if you're dicks about it. Mostly, they usually they don't, but oftentimes like you're not supposed to put more than five people in a standard hotel room. The bigger the hotel room, obviously, the more you can fit in. Airbnb might be a little different because like it's you know somebody's residence or you know some place mm-hmm. they're running out. What's the most per- uh, persons you ever had to put? So yeah, well I. Mm. You know San Pasquale, right? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So I was like living at the Airbnb place okay. in LA. Okay. Where they had they were hosting San Pasquale. Yes, yes. So I mean I think there were like I don't know, around a hundred people at one point. Right, right, right. Like, party okay. going on everything. Oh yeah, so, I remember yeah, the uh the, I remember that after party. I remember hearing about it. I didn't get to go to it because I was too busy working. That's uh, a shame though. By the way, how was that party? Uh if I, you don't mind me asking. It was pretty good, yeah? Pretty good until the cops came. 
Yeah, that tends to happen. Oh. <laughs> and Buzzkill, never mind. Never. Uh, we're not. We're not going to go there. Anyway, uh, huge shout outs to Paul Testman and Robert Bettle, my good friend Robert Bettle from my college days. What's up, Rob? Thanks for joining us here, guys. Okay. Do we dare do one more round with the time we have left? We do have a little over 15 minutes. What say you two to one last round? All right. Coco, you in? I'm down. Coco's in. All right. So, folks, again, the way this works, we're taking Never Have I Ever from the crowd. This is a way for you guys to get to know us, especially get to know Maid Coco, again, the new, the new maid of Kiss Pink Maid Cafe. Um, again, folks, give us a Never Have I Ever. And if we've done it, one of our fingers goes down. Uh, it's it's a uh, we've got five hit points on here, and we're gonna go with that. So, David Mo, oh that's mean. That's just mean. Never have I ever been kicked out of an Airbnb. Okay, so. <laughs> oh. Hey David, what's up? No, and is that was it's that? Too much. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you opened up the gates too fast there. Okay. Just as a heads up to Kiss Pink Maid Cafe has a ton of fun games that the maids mm. play on stage and uh, never have ever has been one of them we've played before at HentaiCon. So um, if you like this, you'll still like it later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, we're giving a huge shout out to Wilfredo Rivera also joining us in here. Weston Diaz says, never have I ever had an emo phase. I had a diet emo phase. A diet emo phase? Okay. Yeah. Right on. Uh, Coco, you had an emo phase? Okay. It's, emo now. it's your life. <laughs> I don't know. It's emo a lifestyle. <laughs> oh, see now, see, now they're just being mean to you guys. Never have I ever bucked on gotcha games, a.k.a. spent 60 plus or more on gotcha games. All together mm-hmm. or separate? Like like one... one ex- no. I'm going to call one one transaction. Okay, so that, that, that works. I, I don't know why I had to clarify. I've done both. <laughs> You've done both. Okay, so... If you guys are curious, um, again, gotcha games or games like Fate Grand Order, where Love Live, uh, basically you can you spend, Dream. you can spend things in the game in order to acquire new items or whatnot. So there's a lot of stuff there. Okay, I I I will I will I will on Fate Grand Order, not as hard as other people, but I have whaled before on uh, like Anaplex's mm. games because I want to win. Um, it was actually really funny. I did whale to get things that I wanted. And I never really got them exclusively. Then all of a sudden, like I started like doing good, good luck charms whenever I did like a gacha or a roll to mm. see if I get the right card or character. Mm. And I have never stopped. Every single roll that I've done, I've gotten a five star ever since I started doing charms. And I don't want to jinx it because I know it, once I like give in to that if that makes sense I'm gonna lose it but I haven't lost it yet it's been a year and a half I don't even play as much anymore because I'm just like whatever I'm just gonna get exactly what I want anyway <laughs> it's weird it's always like but I always have to like do a, I, have to, like, I always have to do a bet with the game I'm like well if I do this then I'm going to like clean my whole house or I'm gonna go like go on like a two mile run or I'm gonna do that and it's always like the good behavior I've been putting off and every single time I get it so I just don't not do it afterwards and if I had like more money to whale I would just only do that to make myself live a very positive lifestyle for the rest of my life in exchange for savers Coco have you ever played a gotcha game before uh is it like what was a gotcha game like opening loot boxes and stuff like yeah that? Yeah, it was kind of like it's kind of oh, like opening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like Overwatch, like we can buy loot boxes and open. No, like, like on a mobile game. Like uh, never, I never spend money on. Shit okay, like good. That. good. <laughs> yeah, yes, save yourself. Don't do it. Okay. My team's the best team, though. Yeah. By the way, I never, I never spend money on like cosmetic items in games. Okay. That really? doesn't affect gameplay. I don't. Okay. Yeah. I don't care. Like, if I have money, I'd rather buy stuff in real life and like put it on myself than like some pixels on a computer. It doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. I'm like a really practical person. Mm-hmm. High five. But gotcha games, you if you spend more money, you have a better team. It helps you play. My team's all right as is. I, yeah, it's I, all also, right. Also, I don't, I don't play, I don't really like RPG games. I need that stimulation, like constant action. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I'm like super like ADD or ADHD, or whatever. Yeah. So I need, I need, I need the action to like keep me like. Okay. Enticed, or otherwise I'll just like get bored and like stop playing it. Okay. Here we go with the next I one. I just like Gilgamesh. Go on. I still want Gilgamesh, although yeah. I, wish, I have Ishtar though. It's all right. Fake go. We're going to stop there. Okay. Ivory Ice Han says, never have I ever been to an 18 plus convention. Okay. Ivory. Yeah, that, that's cold. 
the, the count if you're in like the 18 plus section yeah. inside a convention? Let's count that because I know I, I know Avery hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see what hentai con that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was that's the only one. Although another one that's coming up, by the way, is Yaoi Expo, which is happening April 19th through 21st at the Burbank. Um, it's the uh, Burbank Marriott, I believe. Correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's that one. Okay. Yeah. So you've done. You did hands icon as well, right? Hentai-con? No, I didn't. So I oh. went to a 21 plus or 18 plus lounge in Anime Expo. Okay. It's like super tame inside. It was like. Oh yeah, the uh, lounge 21. Well. We can count. We'll count that. I'm, yeah. count, I'm counting it because why not? Because we're going lightning round here. We're actually almost out of time here. We're hitting up the uh, right into the uh, 10 minute mark here. Okay. The first fine. time I ever went to Lounge 21, um, I was I brought my DS because of my first year after I moved here, mm. and one guy was like, "I'll buy you a drink and let you play your 3DS if you talk to me a little bit." Oh jeez. <laughs> that's I'll always remember. That was my first date in California. <laughs> See, okay. I wonder how he's doing. So Winston gives us, never have I ever had to make a cosplay at the last minute when the con is uh, tomorrow, the following day. Never had if I ever. Wow. Okay, Shelby's down. Okay. We're all well, down does here. It, does it does it count if you help some someone else do? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That counts. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll one-up you, though. I'll one-up you. We made my, we made, like, finished the outfit right as the gathering was happening. Like literally, so mm. you're familiar. Are you, uh, are you familiar with One Piece? Yeah. Okay, so um, One Piece, I cosplayed as Zoro. Any, uh, mm. any is lobby Zoro. So he has like the yellow shirt and then like the Haramaki and everything else, right? Uh, it wasn't completed. I asked somebody to help me make it, and they didn't complete it. So we had to struggle to complete it. So there was like miles and miles of clear tape all around this, and they ended up finishing it. The rest of my group went to the con, went to the gathering already. And then I was, we like, my friends and I, and my my friend was helping me make it. And uh, believe it or not, we made it in just in time for me to get down to the dealer's hall, buy swords, because I, like, I didn't have the right swords, couldn't bring metal. So I brought like three wooden swords and then <laughs> made it to the gathering as they were calling all the Zoros up. Wow. So we got really lucky. By the way, shout outs to my friend Jill for that one. You are amazing. Okay, uh, let's see here. Dustin is targeting me now. Never have I ever had to deal with Ken's Shippujin Raikyaku. That's very specific. You guys that's, want... that's extremely specific. Uh, it's a very specific one because he's he's targeting my Street Fighter prowess. I'm not going to lie. Shippujin Rai is Ken's best super in Third Strike. I've t- deal, dealt with it for about, I don't know, 15 years now. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Kai says, Never have I ever accidentally dropped a good weapon in a game. That's tough, though. Like if I'm playing a shooter, you know, like sometimes I might drop, which what I should all the time. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Even I, I know that, and I I play. Mean, I've only if really you play any Undertale. shooters, bound it's bound to happen. Yeah, it's bound to happen. Wait, wait, you're dead. Are you? Mm-hmm. You're dead? dead. You're both dead? You're dead. I won again. I won again. Oh my god! I'm the winner. Never have I ever. You know what this means? I lead the most boring life of all of us. This is terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna go like you know. No, we're it's because you're the only one not wearing a maid costume right now. This is true, <laughs> but folks, if you it helps your life out, yeah, right. People don't want to see that. No, please, please don't, don't make this happen next time. But folks, if you do want to see some cool maids and play some fun games, Kiss Pink Maid Cafe is where you want to go. And again, folks, we are here with Shelby McWeeb, who's dressed as a maid. You're here with Andrew J. Land, who's not dressed as a maid, thank God. And we're here with the newest maid for Kiss Pink made coco so again folks uh if you look up kiss pink made cafe on facebook that's where i believe they've got their group is that is there yeah that's the like page right and there's a little bit more information on their kiss pink made cafe you can't miss and that's where they've got all their maids and all their information i there are some events coming up i believe they've got an event coming up on april 20th is that correct yep at anime pasadena right right yeah, right. so Anime Pasadena, I believe they have one of the, the, the larger rooms in the upstairs area. So, uh, again, tickets to Anime Pasadena, you get those, and I believe they grant you access to uh, – th- that'll get you through the door, and uh, you got access to the P- Kiss Pink Maid Cafe where you get to you know, converse and play games with awesome maids, such as maybe Coco, if you're lucky. If you're lucky, of course. Or there's a, be- there's a whole plethora of them too. So, uh, folks, you don't want to miss that out. That's where you can check out Anime Pasadena as well. Again, that's a one-day event that's happening in Pasadena, California at the Pasadena Convention Center. So You got to meet Coco. Indeed. So if you want, would like maybe, 
a chance to meet Coco, that's where you want to be. So Anime Pasadena, April 20th. That, again, is at the Pasadena Convention Center. And our shiny maid sisters. Exactly. So there's a whole troop, a whole a whole troop, a whole group. Uh, I don't know of any other word that rhymes with that, so I'm going to stop there. But that's okay. So quite all right. Anyway, folks, we're coming towards the end of our show. Again, I do want to thank everybody here for joining us. It's really because of everybody in the community that we do things here at Relentless Weeb. Uh, again, if you have not done so already, make sure you've liked Bombshell Media. And that way you get access to basically our page and you get updates on what's going on, including updates on when we go live. So you've seen your friends share and post up when the links are going, uh, going live. That way, if you've liked it, you can get updates yourself. And then you can share the updates, too, with all of your friends, all your family, even sometimes your most hated enemies. Like, for example, if I'm Coco and I'm in uh, playing Overwatch and, mm -hmm. you know, I just completely destroyed somebody with a diva ult, and then be like, yeah, you, you died. Go get off here and go watch Relentless Weeb with everybody else. Good impression else. of a gamer. Right? <laughs> no, it's, it's probably more rage-filled. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know. It's like, you need to die. Get off the internet. Better, better. Right? Yeah. Yes. Is, is that, yeah. Uh, that, that, was, that, was that 10 out of 10? What do you say when you're upset when you're gaming? Like multiplayer? Is, is it even? Upset? When you're upset, yeah. Is it okay, even okay to say? I'm just out of uh, curiosity. Are you, are you asking me like an event that happened in past? Yeah. Like what I did? Yeah. When I was upset? This one, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, Share it out. Yeah. Um, I used to play like Dota 2. Oh, what? Oh, you like Dota? Ago. Okay. Yeah, and then like <laughs> I have this like love hate relationship with it. Oh, I can't. Sometimes I would like go on like lose streaks for like I don't know ten twenty games. Oh jeez. I just I just uninstall a game. Mm. Uh, I just wait, like rage just... quit. I rage quit. That's like, probably fuck like this, the... and then like just un uninstall a game. That's oh, the nicest way to be angry at video games on the internet, though. Like, oh, I'm gonna uninstall instead of like threaten. And then like <laughs> few days <laughs> few days later, I just like install it back. Yeah, you're just like okay, I'm back. No, like I I swear to myself, like I'm not gonna like touch this shit again. And so bad. Next thing you know, you're yeah. playing Dota 2. Mm -hmm. Again. Again. Dear God. I'm amazed you play Dota, actually. That's 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 awesome. Did you wait, so you play did you only play Dota or did you go to like League or League of Um I play like I don't know, ten, twenty games. I never really got into it mm. that much because like um like I I played Dota 2 first. Right, right. Because right. uh, yeah. I used to be like really big on Steam. I played mm -hmm. I don't know, Counter Strike, Team Fortress, all the uh -huh. games. And then when it came out, I just like downloaded and tried it, uh -huh. and I liked it, so mm. I kept playing it. And then like uh, I never really got into league, but like yeah. my friend wanted me to like try it out and play with them. Yeah, it does a bit of that, but I just found out I just find um the mechanism of the game to be like too simplified. Or, I understand. Like, that. I understand. And also like a lot of elements you need to like keep grinding to unlock. Yeah, like yeah. champions and like certain skills and stuff. You have to like keep. Or like leveling up to like unlock or pay to whereas play. in like yeah. dota yeah. it's like already unlocked it's all, it's all there yeah you can it's like overwatch right you, you get access to everything and no one has an upper hand on other people yeah just because they have like a higher level or like more yeah. money so i gotcha yeah that makes sense uh weston diaz by the way gives a uh, damn shout out to dota too and winston says dota good time all right so i'm gonna ask one question for for uh, uh all of us actually um and it does relate to cosplay. This is where we've, we've all cosplayed here. Just kind of jumping on the last tangent. And one last question before we go. And folks, I'm also going to ask you a different question here. Um, for us, if there's one dream cosplay we want to do, what would it be? And for the chat here, what cosplays would you like to see us do? Let us know. <laughs> you know why? Because I would like to know because I have no freaking clue what to cosplay anymore. Yeah. And we're going to see. So, um, you know what, Shelby, name one. Uh, I'm going to give Coco some time to think about it. Us this. three? Yeah, all of us. Yeah. If there's anything you would want to cosplay. Like, if money were no object. And I'm banning myself Ooh. from saying Iron Man's armor because, I mean, that's the obvious answer. Let's be real. Anyway. For all of us, yeah. we all should cosplay Iron Man. Um, okay. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be cool. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I like the Persona 5 Persona of Haru. Okay. So I think that's Haru. a good one. Okay. That would be a cool one if I had a million dollars. Okay. If you had a million dollars? Yeah. If, um, I am going to give Coco a little more time. The one that came to mind, aside from Iron Man's armor, was actually like Archangel from like X-Men. I don't know why. This is, I always love the character. Oh, that's really cool. Right, right. So, uh, Coco, if you could cosplay anything, what would you cosplay? Money, and assume money is no object. What? 
What's expensive to cosplay? Like? That doesn't matter. You could do armor. Diva and her mecha. Yeah. Uh, her, is it her mecha? Yeah, her mecha. Yeah. Um, how about Gundam? And we build, we build over your life Gundam. Oh, oh okay. that's cool. Right on. So believe it or not, like at like, Anime Expo last like year. Like one to one size. Oh, one to oh, you want to? You can actually like control it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like money were no object. Yeah, yeah that yeah. would be sick. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be cool. By the way, people are saying they want Mirage from Apex Legends oh. for me. Apparently, I have no idea. Um, oh yeah, you would be a good good Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna really? look that. Up. I, I'm gonna look that up later. For uh, real. Let's see. Ivory says Michelle from Bang Dream. Uh, Norman Locke is saying. <laughs> For, I think I'm assuming we know who this is going to. Not me, thank God. Michelle from Bang Dream is um, a giant bear mascot costume, uh-huh. and she's my favorite character and Ivory's favorite character. Okay. So I agree. If I had a hundred million dollars, I would make a the most accurate Michelle from Bang Dream cosplay there ever <laughs> cool. was. Good, good, good. Because I'm a furry. Simon De La Santa sing Raph Talia for Coco. Raph Talia. Raph Talia? I'm not sure. Raph Talia. My, uh, Shelby, you have any insight on Raph Talia for Coco? No, Simon, give us a heads up. We might need a, he- a heads up on that mm-hmm. one, and then we'll probably close out the stream in just a second. Aldo is saying, Aldo Ramirez is saying, cosplay the guy from Tropic Thunder, RDJ's character. Um, oh, geez. That's, <laughs> we've l- talked- someone said Luffy, too. Uh, Luffy, okay. Oh, Luffy. I've never seen One Piece. Luffy I have work. just been outed. Luffy would work, too. Norman Lockus and Gudako from Fate Grand Order. Oh, as well. I, that's actually that would be good. I love Gudako. Mm-hmm. I hit the table. I love Gudako. Oh. So yeah, that's a great cosplay idea. Let's see, Weston, uh, and chiming in for Coco here because she because Coco said Gundam. Char as Nabble's Gundam mech suit would probably be the one to do. Good. Okay, cool. Who? And uh, uh, famous character from uh, Gundam, the the mech suit. This is like the like the original, the OG. So, uh, saying Shield Hero by the way is rough. Uh, let's see. Ralph Tali is from Shield Hero. Okay, perfect. And Nizer Dizon saying Voltron, the OG Lions as well. Oh, that's cool. Really yeah. One. Okay. So, folks, again, we're winding down here. I want to thank you all so much for joining us here for tonight's episode of Relentless Weaves. Again, it's been a pleasure. Coco, thank you so much, by the thank way. Thank you for, for me. Yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, so, we will see you April 20th at the Kiss Pink Maid Cafe at Anime Pasadena. Is that correct? Okay, cool, cool. All right, so folks, if you would, if you want to, again, check out Kiss Pink Made Cafe. That's where to go. And again, Anime Pasadena, April 20th. That's where you'll see Coco and a whole bevy of other maids and possibly some support characters as well. Shelby, will you be there as well or no? Okay, not a problem. So if you're not going to be there, where can the people follow you? You can follow me at Shelby McWeave on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Okay. And, of course, you can follow me, Andrew J. Landy, Instagram and Twitter. And, of course, most importantly, folks, make sure you followed Relentless Weebs and Bombshell Media. And, as well, make sure you follow the Anime Impulse. Again, folks, Anime Impulse, thank you guys so much to all of you over here at Anime Impulse who do such great work and help us put on this show. Again, folks, this has been Relentless Weebs. We're calling it for a night. So, again, folks, enjoy the rest of your evening. Happy spring to all of you because, again, remember, tomorrow's the first day of spring. So, Thanks, folks, and we'll see you next time. Take care and have a wonderful evening. Good night.